Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nelson and stuff here back in another video. Today, what I'm going to be doing is building a Lego set that I never thought I'd buy, but I had 20 bucks left over for my birthday. So I bought the Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, Quantum Realm Explorer. So, I don't know. We'll see how this goes, see if I like it or not. Um, it comes with three minifigures, exactly 200 pieces, and let's get into it. All right, so I finished the uh, building, and here's the finished product. I like it personally. For twenty bucks, I think it's a really nice build, detailed everywhere. You got a nice minifigure selection. And speaking of which, let's get into that minifigure selection. So here is the wasp with her helmet on, and the wasp. I really like the helmet printing, where instead of taking Ant-Man's helmet and revamping it, they just stuck it on one of these flat-faced helmets, and I really like it. The printing on it looks really nice, and torso printing and back printing is pretty good. I'll show you the back printing in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at the uh, facial expressions with her, and she has a smug look on her face now. But now she has an angry face. I still don't understand why they have this on this figure specifically, considering she has a helmet on. And unless you find a hairpiece, it's really kind of useless. But hey, I guess you get, I guess you get the most of the figure, right? So now I'm gonna show you the back printing. Printing. I think the back printing looks pretty nice. It's really just a jetpack with the same pattern, with the gold, blue, and red. I think it looks really nice. And she has this trans blue piece goes around her neck to act as the wings in the movie. On to the next figure. So this is Ghost. Now, I like the, I like Ghost. Personally, I think this is a really cool figure. And she can just tap into the Quantum Realm. It's, it, it's, it's explained more in depth than in the movie, so I suggest you go watch it. I heard it's really good. So the chest printing is pretty cool. There's no other printing other than the chest. In the back, except for you know the face, but that's about it. You get one of these trans blue uh, power blast pieces, which if you push down on here, you lose it. Yay! I mean, I know where it is, but so you're probably gonna lose it if you don't do that. But her face printing, I think, looks really nice. Well, this side, anyways. I, I don't really like this side, though it is shown in the movie, and I figured it, it's a it's a good addition. I like that type, but I really just like it more like this. So this is the this is the AMA figure. I think I really like it personally. The chest printing is pretty cool. He's surprisingly the only character with leg printing in this uh, set. Nobody has arm printing nor dual molded legs, but that's alright. The helmet mold is really nice. I really, really like it. The sides look great. The front looks great. The back looks great. The trans red pieces on the eyes look really, really cool. I like it a lot. The back printing is alright, and the torso printing is alright. It really matches how he looks in the movies, even though I haven't seen it. I know what he looks like. So this is the Quantum Realm Explorer. As you can see, there's a lot of nice detailing on it, and we're going to cover that. So, right here is a sticker, 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 and right here is a sticker. There's a lot of stickers. But there's, again, a lot of printed bits. For example, this thingy. 
Yeah, I forgot to show this, but it's alright. No, I, I think mine's either just printed wrong, or it's supposed to be like this, but the lid is slightly off-center. If you can see that. It's, like, not centered. I don't... And the extra piece it gave me has the same issue. So I'm thinking it's just how it's supposed to be. But you also get a trophy. I don't know what purpose it serves. It serves some purpose. But that purpose is unknown to me. So let's go back to the Quantum Realm Explorer. So, here, you have these feet that kind of support the build. And at the feet, you have stud shooters and binoculars for detailing, along with a couple other pieces. You also get these things. It's like fins. They're, they're rotated on ball joints. And I think it's really, really cool. The small boy, ball joints, by the way. Not the big ones. Here you have the engine, which is just three barrels slapped on the back and a couple binoculars. I think I... I think I like this part. Or rather, the exhaust. Speaking of exhaust, these are actually made with the exhaust car pieces from Lego. And you still have the same design on the other side with the stud shooters and all. Now, at the top, things don't really change that much, but it's still really cool. You have this area with the stickers at the top, and you got these two roller blades. And the roller blades are on those ball jointed pieces that I showed you earlier. But they're in silver. And there's a gold samurai helmet top piece. Like, you'd click it, you'd clip it onto the top of a samurai helmet. Um, on Lego figures. But they kind of used it for detailing here, and I really, really like that. There's one of these gray, these silver vented pieces, which I really like the silver vented ones. They look nice. They have these new pieces on the side. I, I don't know what to call them. But these pieces are new. And I think, I think they're a welcome addition to Lego. I think we can probably use them for a lot more detailing than just this one. So, the way this works for the cockpit is like this. There's these two circular pieces that are clipped onto the sides. And what you want to do is say insert Ant-Man. Throw them into the Quantum Realm Explorer. Put them in the seat. You want to put this almost all the way down and then smack the little circles onto it that way it looks like he's more secure and indeed he is more secure and the quantum realm explorer has these teeny tiny little arms at the front and i think it's just really funny to see these teeny tiny arms this is what the trophy's for so that's really the build. That's it. So, um, make sure to have an awesome day and do some insane stuff.